Welcome back. Previously, we learned how to navigate to different routes using the link component. While the link component is generally sufficient, there are situations where we need to programmatically navigate to a specific route. For example, imagine you're placing an order on Amazon and upon successful form submission, you're redirected to the order confirmation page. This functionality is crucial for various types of form submissions and is commonly required in production applications. In this video, we will explore how to programmatically navigate using the app router. Although we don't have an e-commerce website or a form to submit, let's assume that we do and implement a button click handler that will navigate us to a different route within our application. For this example, when the user clicks the place order button on the order product page, we will navigate them to the home page. Back in VS Code, let's first create the order product route. Inside the app folder, create a new folder, order hyphen product. Within this folder, create a page.tsx file containing a React component. The component name is order product, which returns an h1 tag, order product. Now let's add a button to this page. Let's wrap the JSX with React fragment. And after the heading, add a button, place order. Next, add a click handler to the button using on click and assigning a function handle click. Let's define the handler function. Const handle click is equal to an arrow function where we simply log to the console placing your order. Let's assume the order was placed successfully. After the log statement, the user should be navigated to the home page. To achieve this, we will rely on the use router hook. At the top, import use router function from next slash navigation. Within the component, invoke the function and assign the return value to a constant called router. Const router is equal to use router. On this router, access the push method passing in the required route as an argument. In our example, we want to navigate to the root home page after placing the order. So within the click handler, router.push forward slash. If you now head back to the browser and navigate to slash order product, we see an error. Use router only works in client components. Add the use client directive at the top of the file to use it. This is a common theme you will encounter when using hooks in your components. So in page.tsx, at the top, use client. Returning to the browser, you should see the order product heading and the place order button. Clicking on the button will navigate you to the root of the application. This is essentially how you can programmatically navigate with the app router. Currently, we are passing forward slash as the argument to router.push, but you can use any valid route you have used in the href attribute of the link component so far. This means you can navigate to nested routes, dynamic routes, and even catch-all routes. As a side note, if you want to replace the history instead of pushing the route onto the stack, you can use router.replace. This behavior is similar to setting the replace prop to true on the link component. Additionally, you can use router.back without any arguments to navigate back to the previous page in the browser's history stack. You can also use router.forward to navigate forward to the next page. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.